Hi, this is Chuck Klein, your hot air balloon pilot. And uh, today I want to talk with you about how you inflate a hot air balloon start to finish. Um, by the way, here's a picture of my balloon Max. Max is a size 8 balloon. That means it's 90,000 cubic feet of air it holds when it's fully inflated. The balloon we're going to be looking at today is a 7 and it holds 77,700 cubic feet of air. So here we go. Let's take a look at the bottom of a carriage. Uh, my carriage is triangular and you see two set, three sets of uh, three pair of load ropes that come to the bottom center of the carriage where they, uh, they come together. That's the main load ring. So if we look at uh, the whole thing, you can see it again, it's triangular. I've got my hand uh, on the place where all the load ropes go together. And you can see uh, one that's sort of sagging uh, in the left-hand side of the, of the frame. That's where it gets connected. Um, so looking inside, we see that in each corner, uh, there's a propane tank. And um, here we go. We've got things stood up now, and um, you're looking at the control panels in one corner of the carriage. So uh, this is what does all the work. This is the bag that holds the balloon. So um, inside that little orange bag is a balloon that will hold 77,700 cubic feet of air. That's what lifts us, like a soap bubble. Okay, we stretch it out. And uh, once we get it all stretched out, we will, uh, well, here's the thimbles. These are, uh, there's three of those. And remember the carriage is uh, triangular. And so one of these goes to each uh, corner. So here we are kind of uh, organizing things. And uh, this is how they're connected. There's no uh, metal connectors of any kind. Um, it's all uh, very, very simple. You do it by hand, uh, a, real, uh, a real artistic uh, piece of equipment. So here we go. Now, uh, now you're looking at the top of the balloon. This is the, the burner support and the burner down there. And then you can see where I've got, my hands are on that load rope where that thimble was connected. That burner, by the way, um, at maximum uh, rated pressure for the propane will put out 22 million BTUs. Heck of a flame. There's the blast valve, so I just uh, hold that uh, the, uh, the wooden thing in my palm, and then what's down below is the, uh, the brass, uh, that's the trigger. Okay, here we go. I've uh, lit the pilot lights. You can see the pilots are running there, and we're kind of we're kind of ready for action. Uh, so what's next? We start up the inflator fan, and with that uh, big bag of no air, we just start blowing cold air into it, and you can see it's starting to fill up just a little bit. And that's the fan on the right. And uh, we're just holding the mouth of the balloon open, so it just blows cold air in there. And uh, surprisingly, it fills up pretty quick. Here it goes. With a little bit of patience, it starts to look like a balloon. We do need to kind of stretch it out, so there I am going around uh, the one of the sides to pull it out to make sure that it uh, can take all the cold air possible. We want to get it packed with cold air as much as we can before we heat it up. Looking from the top down, you can see, you can kind of see it's bunched up in the center there. That's what I was doing was, was pulling so it uh, releases that, that bunching and, and it fills up more easily. This is the valve in the top and um, later on you'll be able to see it a little bit better, but, but actually we can uh, it's, it's like a parachute plugging a hole in the top of the balloon. And um, I'm just attaching some Velcro tabs that positions it during the cold air inflation. Uh, we'll break those loose later, and, it, and just the pressure of the air holds it in place. 
There you can see the valve. It's all in place now. And uh, the balloon's uh, a little over half full. A little more patience and we'll get on the burner. Getting fuller. Burner time. So simply I get down uh, inside the uprights, kind of tilt the, uh, the burner up so it shoots into the center of that big, big cold air uh, peg. And um, off we go. Starting to heat it, you can see the the waves, the, the waves of heat shooting up in there. There you can see a little bit of the fire. It's pretty much mostly invisible. And uh, that crescent up above where you see the overlap, that's where the valve is overlapping on the uh, envelope of the balloon. And um, it wants to stand up. We have people on a crown line that keep it from standing up too quickly, which can be problematic and you have to have been there to understand the problem so if you'd like to learn about that more fully come out and crew more heat and up we go okay so here we are sitting on the ground we're fully inflated and um, this is just sort of a briefing time with the crew to Last minute uh, checks to see what we're up to, uh, talking about the wind and this and that, who's going to be driving the chase vehicle, giving a little bit of heat, make sure we're ready to go, and uh, off we go. So an hour or so later, or maybe even 30 minutes later, if we can come down and trade passengers, uh, you'll see a shadow. And here we are. So actually in this flight, we were trading passengers. We, we came down, landed, uh, crew came out and grabbed us. And uh, a couple people got out, a couple people got in. So try to get as many crew rides as we can each day. Berries, never know what's going to happen. Mother Nature is, uh, we are totally dependent on what the wind does for the day we go out. So that's that. And uh, last but not least, we've deflated it, and now we are starting to pack it up, put it back in that bag so we can go have breakfast and go home. Okay, now, um, I showed you a picture of Max, my balloon, earlier. Here's a schematic of it, so you can see, uh, get a little bit of a sense of how high, how, how tall, how wide it is, etc. And um, this one last thing, this is Chuck Klein your Roseville real estate agent, and hot air balloon pilot. Thanks for stopping by.